Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson here with a look at your forecast and our first winter storm of December is upon us. You can see it taking shape down across portions of southern Illinois and Indiana and all this is going to be streaming in our direction towards the Buckeye State as we go through the rest of our Thursday evening. So it is going to start to get a little treacherous out there, especially the farther south you live. That's where things are expected to be most active. To go along with this winter storm, temperatures have been tumbling as we've gone throughout our Thursday. We started off in the upper 50s, even briefly touched 60 degrees early Thursday morning while most of us were still asleep, but then the cold front made its way on through during the uh, morning hours right around sunrise. And as we've gone through the day, temperatures have actually been steadily falling, dropping back down into the mid 30s. So a day where we started off at 60 degrees is likely to end with some sleet and some snowfall across our area. Just kind of gives you an idea of the big changes heading our way. And you can see the really cold stuff off to our north and west, single digits up towards Minneapolis, Minnesota. And yeah, some of that cold air is going to be in place for us here over the next few days. So here's a look at your forecast on what you can expect as we go over the next 48 to 72 hours. The storm system again treks its way up towards the north and east as we go through tonight. Now the worst of it will be to our south especially down towards Dayton and over towards Indianapolis. We are going to get a glancing blow though from the storm. Now for Toledo, not looking at major accumulations, but still expect some snowflakes as we head through the overnight hours and into the early morning hours on Friday. Could also see a little bit of a wintry mix to start and then it'll switch over to all snow. So there may be a small coating of ice on some roadways, especially as you get down towards the Finley and Lima area. We'll probably get a little break in the action as we go towards Friday morning as the system kind of winds down across Northwest Ohio, though it's still cranking to our south. So again, the worst of it, like I mentioned, will be to our south. But then yet another round is expected to move in as we go into Friday afternoon. And this is when we could probably see more of our appreciable snowfall across the region. Again, especially down towards places such as Bowling Green, Tiffin and uh, Finley areas could pick up some light to moderate accumulations enough to make those roadways slippery. Again, this isn't going to be the biggest snowstorm we've ever seen, but it is enough to make those roadways quite treacherous. You only need about an inch or inch and a half of snow for those roads to start getting very slick. So do plan to maybe take it a little bit slower as you're out in the roadways, especially for the evening commute Friday as we wrap up the work week, because that's when things could be at their worst across our area. The snow will start to move its way on out as we go into Friday night and we're completely dry for the day on Saturday, though it will be bitterly cold for the first half of the weekend. But by the end of the weekend, yet another storm system will take shape. It's going to take basically the exact same trek as these first couple ones are going to be moving through. So it's mainly going to favor central and southern Ohio as well as central and southern Indiana. But we too could get clipped by this storm late Sunday night into early Monday morning. So lots going on here across the area and uh, we're going to be seeing winter weather advisories in effect across uh, portions of our region. We've got Van Wert, Putnam, Hancock, Seneca County, Huron County under winter weather advisories from the National Weather Service as well as Wyandotte County as well. Basically this just means that conditions are favorable for travel to become quite slippery across the region. Toledo, Bowling Green not in the winter weather advisory. So again, we're more going to get a glancing blow from the system. But that said, still a few snowflakes certainly possible as we go over the next 36 hours or so. Those winter weather advisories in effect until 10 p.m. Friday night because again we've got the overnight stuff tonight and then yet that second round for your Friday afternoon. In terms of overall snowfall totals, I think your Michigan Ohio border is sort of your cutoff on any accumulation. If you live in southeast Michigan, you're basically going to get through the storm a okay. As you get into northern parts of Ohio, though, this is where we could start to see a little bit of accumulation. I think for Toledo and the surrounding areas, we're looking at a dusting to about a half inch of snow, getting closer to around an inch as you get closer to Bowling Green and even over towards places like Sandusky. There are your higher amounts to our south, again, Finley and Tiffin, upper Sandusky, one to four inches possible, maybe even a couple isolated spots getting as much as five inches with the really higher amounts as you go down US 23 towards Columbus. Columbus, Dayton, they could see three to seven inches before all is said and done. So again, it's going to get pretty nasty here across the region for the rest of tonight. Again, starting off as a little bit of a wintry mix before we switch over to all snow as we go through the overnight hours. Temperatures continuing to drop down to 27 degrees. So yes, that cold air is back. We're barely going to warm up all that much for your day Friday with a high of just 30 degrees. And again, that second round of snow will be arriving right around lunchtime Friday and lasting throughout the bulk of the afternoon. And then again, we do dry out for Saturday, but a high of just 27 degrees. So very cold for the first half of your weekend, struggling to reach for Freezing on Sunday. I think the daylight hours are, uh, on Sunday are dry, but then that next system moves its way and it could bring some snow along with possibly some sleet, maybe some freezing rain overnight Sunday into Monday morning. So a slippery start to next week as well. 
And then after Monday, yet another cold front moves through, knocks our temperatures back into the 20s for highs, overnight lows in the teens, possibly even in the single digits by next Wednesday morning. Certainly a possibility. We keep things in the 20s all the way through next Thursday before we try to warm up a little bit, getting back into the 30s as we head into the following weekend. So again, folks, not the biggest snowstorm ever, but enough that we got to take precautions. And if you are going to be out in the roads, maybe take a little bit slow as you're out and about. That is a look at your forecasts. I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson. Thanks for logging on to northwestohio.com.